Hello, this is Kyle Grossmiller from Pure Storage. And in this demo video today, we're going to walk you through the steps needed to provision an ESXi host in Equinix Metal uh, that will be used with VMware Cloud Foundation and the Pure Storage Flash Array. So here we are in the Equinix Metal console. Um, you can see I've already deployed a fair amount of infrastructure that's been set up here. Um, starting at the top, the edge gateway is using a micro tick router, basically a vir virtualized top of rack switch. Um, for network assi VLAN assignment and all that good stuff. Um, there's a Benjamin, Jenka, Benjamin Jenkins at Equinix Metal has a great GitHub page that will tell you how to get that particular piece set up. Um, you can see we've got a hosted flash array represented by pure CT0, controller zero and controller one. Uh, we have a DNS server with that Equinix Metal. We have an infrastructure server where I deployed Cloud Builder from, and then there are four uh, VCF ESXi hosts for the management domain. Now we're going to add our three additional ESXi hosts for our workload domain deployment. Um, I am in the Dallas region. Uh, there are other re regions where this is supported. I am choosing the large size today. That's the only one supported, but there are plans to add additional ESXi sizes and types for this. You can see I selected that VMware VCF option. That, that This one is specific and exclusive for VCF. I'll get into what the difference is here in a minute. You can, you can uh, deploy up to five servers. Uh, for this, I'm only doing a single small workload domain, so I'm going to do three. I've already populated that VCF-workload-01 through three on my DNS server. Then I simply click on deploy now, and it will spin up those three ESXi hosts for me. Um, we can see it's been added to the inventory. Uh, the three of them have been added to my Equinix Metal inventory here. There is the option to click on that hourglass or that the view progress window to see where it is in the process. Um, it does take about 15 minutes total to complete, so I will pause it and resume here. And we can see that they have already been deployed. Um, here's some of the features on the Equinix Metal console itself. The out-of-band console is what gives you SSH access into the ESXi host. There is a There are some other kind of normal server actions there. There is a root password. Uh, which will enable you to get into it. That is rotated after 24 hours, so it's recommended to change it uh, very soon after, within 24 hours of deployment. So what's unique about the VMware Cloud Foundation option is what I'll show you here. Um, right now I'm going to assign all of my different VMware Cloud Foundation VLANs to it, management, vMotion, host overlay, edge overlay, edge uplink, um, and then of course an iSCSI VLAN that connects to our hosted flash array instance. Um, so I've added these here, and, and now what's unique though is that typically in Equinix Metal you cannot assign the same VLAN to different interfaces, but with this VCF offering you can. So as we can see, I'm repeating my previous step, but I'm just assigning all of my VLANs to both interfaces on this ESXi host, which will obviously give us a lot more redundancy um, and 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 all that good stuff within VCF. Um, you can also use tags within Equinix Metal. Um, this is the VCF project, so I'm going to tag it as such while we wait for my networks to be added. And we can see under the layer two network interfaces, they have all been assigned. Um, all of those VLANs have been assigned across both ethernet ports. Uh, now we'll hop into the out of band console. I'm just gonna get a putty session going here. You will need a, a private key in order to connect an SSH private key. Um, I've got an RSA key that I've already st stood up and associated with this project, so I'm going to pass that in here. Um, and then hitting enter, now I'm at my ESXi host uh, entry, entry point. Um, here is the SSH root password. I went ahead and copied that, and then I'm gonna paste it in here. And then of course, the first thing I'm going to do is change uh, from that, from that default password to my own new root password for this ESXi host, because that original one will expire in 24 hours. Um, from here, I will just quickly go through the steps. A lot of this is can be automated via scripting, but I've already got IP and DNS assignments made for this ESXi host. So just to quickly show how to do that here, I'm gonna get this host stood up for initial use in VMware Cloud Foundation. Um, setting up DNS here, static IP. Here's my DNS server. I'll give it the fully qualified domain name for the host name, and then I'll add also add that DNS suffix here as well. Um, again, all of this is scriptable, and we will have scripts out for it, but I figured it was worth showing how to do it uh, the old fashioned way, just so you can see what, what we uh, are offering here. Um, last thing, we'll just test our management network. This is good to go. Awesome, so in our next video, I'll walk you through the additional steps to before you can commission ESXi hosts for workload domain deployment.
Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.